If you climb the stairs at the back of the Fort Towson Cemetery, you will find the Dokesville History Trail. The Dokesville Archaeological Site provides a glimpse of the diverse historic and cultural past of Southeast Oklahoma. Here, a trading post was established during the early 1820s by Josiah Doak. With the signing of the treaties of Dancing Rabbit Creek and Doak Stand, Dokesville became a major destination in what later became known as Indian Territory. With the military posts nearby at Fort Towson for protection, Dokesville became the largest town in Indian Territory in 1850 and the commercial center of the Choctaw Nation. Hard to believe that this used to be a town at one time. <laughs> might be considered a ghost town now. I don't feel, I don't feel very scared if it is. <laughs> Commerce grew with the establishment of the roads built to supply Fort Towson. Steamboats on the Red River in the late 1830s carried goods to Dokesville and agricultural products out of the region. At its height in the 1840s and 1850s, the town boasted more than 30 buildings, including stores, a jail, school, hotel, and two newspapers. This is what's left of the Dokesville Hotel. over that way. Wonder about the people that would have stayed here in the Dokesville Hotel. Interesting. Okay, here's a view down. Here, I'll show you the well. Looking down, you really can't see very much. It's so... The sun is so bright, but it's just so far down there. I can see, I can see water moving down there. We were just wondering like what kind of ancient coins might be down in the bottom of that. <laughs> the sign indicates that this building might have been used as a kitchen based on the things that the archaeologists found when they excavated it. They even said that it might have been used in the 1850s and 60s. Oh, that's a long time ago. wonder what kind of things they cooked in there. Dokesville's decline began with the abandonment of Fort Towson in 1854. The Civil War in Indian Territory devastated the region's plantation-based economy. On June 23, 1865, the last Confederate general, Stan Wadey, surrendered his Indian brigade to Union forces near Dokesville. The town declined in importance in the late 1800s. Dokesville is an archaeological site operated by the Oklahoma Historical Society. Major archaeological investigations in 1995, 96, and 97 reveal the limestone foundations of multiple structures including wells, jail, store, hotel, along with thousands of artifacts. This video is of me standing inside the old stone jail. It looked like there were three cells and they were very small and cramped and confined. It was a very claustrophobic experience to be in there.
Thanks for joining us on a visit to Dokesville. See you next time.